Hi, fellas, Ben back again on another one. A quick one today, just my initial impressions of this beautiful tank bag from Rider Zone. Um, I don't really know enough about Rider Zone and their uh, history um, in the market, but uh, what this is, this is, this definitely looks like uh, something that has been, uh, you know, kind of uh, conceived and designed and manufactured by people who have been doing it for a really long time in the business. There's plenty of reference out there so for, uh, for new players to come into the market and do things. Uh, it's it's uh, so much more easier today. But to have a certain set of uh, uh, requirements uh, to design something and to to achieve them, to achieve them, to nail them, uh, that's, that, that is a totally different uh, level of uh, commitment to the course. So Rider Zone got in touch with me and they sent me this tank bag just to, um, you know, kind of review it and uh, so that also sees to it that i don't really have a customer bias i haven't really pay paid for it so i can be as honest as i want i can also ridicule the bag if i feel like it and this tank bag is is almost perfect it's about 90 percent there uh look just just look at the way it sits on the bike that's the most beautiful thing so uh, the way this sits on the bike is the best thing it's like it's tailor-made for that tank Somehow they've taken enough enough trouble to get the contours right of the tank bag. Um, it's a, it's some serious design to get that kind of curve, and to have that sit like that. To have the side panels, uh, side pouches also follow the same uh, direction of design. I'm I'm a designer, so I I usually have a designer bias. I get carried away by good design, and this is beautiful design. There are some demerits, functionally, uh, they could have uh, worked on it. So that's why I said it's a 90% there. Uh, now, I'll just quickly run you through the uh, design of the bag. Oh, what this has is, this is like a magnetic tank bag with a magnetic bottom and uh, two side straps. So, yeah, of course, I can, I can take it off with one hand and that's the magnetic uh, base. Uh, they have dedicated pouches for the magnets and they also have these two uh, additional uh, what can I say years to uh, kind of hold on to the uh, contours of the bag uh, of the tank and so that's that uh, pretty straightforward uh, a leather finished polyurethane material which will uh, not scratch the tank the paint and also has a very good um, uh, what do you call it friction co uh, uh, quotient so uh, this will this will create for enough stiction to uh, have the bag sitting on top of the uh, tank without really moving around much so the magnets seem to work best with this kind of uh, a material a tactile material which allows for mu very good stiction so it's going to hold on to the tank yeah let me quickly run you through what i believe could be done better the only downside to this is this material will definitely wither with time it'll wither away it'll uh, become uh, you know uh, all it'll be a wasted material in some time this definitely is going to uh, not last the the, the length the time that the, the rest of the bag will last so that's one thing and the magnets the magnets will lose their uh, ability to grip onto metal with time and that's that's a usual thing i've had uh, some experience with magnetic tank bags and that's what i found the magnets lose their uh, strength with time so that those are the only two uh, observations what they could have done is they could have included these these d-rings if you watch this 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 d-ring could have been included here and here and that would have seen to it that you know what you it becomes so much more versatile it becomes like a, a strap-on tank bag as well so, um, with the bag sitting like that, if they had included the uh, D-rings, then what one could do... What one could do is one could have the D-ring from there and run a strap to these uh, tank guards. That's the best thing to do. And they, that, that would have made this bag so much more versatile and so much more uh, off-road friendly. Uh, serious jumps and whoops and things like that. So uh, a D-ring there and a strap. Uh, and the Himalayan comes with these beautiful, um, lovely, uh, <laughs> not beautiful. I don't really like the looks of it. But it does come with these provisions for you to strap things onto. So uh, two D-rings there would have made this bag so much more uh, versatile. And let's hope they come up with something like that in the next iteration. Uh, for for uh, what this is, this is remarkable the way it is. Except for that, that one aspect, I love everything about this bag. Um, three dedicated pouches, one like a quick easy access pouch from the rider's point of view. You can quickly access things in this pouch. It's a small pouch. And 
I, I would have liked it if it was even more smaller and then you have these two nice large side pouches uh, which also follow the same design uh, language that's the best thing they follow the same design language of the tank bag and I love that love that about it and then you have the main pouch the main pouch is uh, where you can dump things into this can take this can take your wallet this can take uh, half a litre water bottle, this can take your toolkit, your uh, toolkit, this can take uh, just about anything and everything you want to throw in here. Very nice capacity. I'm looking at five to seven litres here. And then there's uh, these two dedicated uh, mesh pouches where you can have your charger and electrical bits. Uh, you can shove in your wires here, you have two elastic loops. Build quality is top notch, uh, like I started with. Um, it looks like the job of people who've been uh, seriously invested in, uh, in the course, getting things right. This material is different, it has a slight uh, color difference, so that also adds to the uh, the credit, uh, goes to the designer. Uh, he's, he's thought about uh, having enough textural play, um, color play, and, and yet not make it obnoxiously loud and ugly. Most tank bags which are uh, uh, the, the 5 to 10 litre category, they are so, so ugly to look at. They just don't go with the aesthetics of the motorcycle. And this here is like a perfect, perfect fit on the bike. Uh, profile is just beautiful. I love it for what it is. There's a Molly style uh, webbing panel on top. You can hook things onto this with your carabiners or your buckles. You can also have another pouch ring on top if the space isn't enough. You can take a smaller pouch and attach it on top. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, it's uh, quite well uh, thought through and uh, very, very well constructed. Real hardy build quality. Yeah, that's, that's my initial impressions. I will definitely uh, put this to the test on all kinds of terrain. I will definitely do a lot of jumps and off-road rides and will actually... Uh, only then be able to give you a serious uh, review of how this has fared over time or with time but uh, for now initial impressions are 10 on 10 this has been sitting on the bike for 900 kilometers through all kinds of terrain in fact and hasn't budged for now the magnets are seriously good and uh, it also comes with uh, a rain cover a rain cover so you can throw this on top um, and uh, that should make it waterproof but uh, this this bag the way it is is very very uh, well uh, waterproofed on its own water resistant i would say so i was riding through a severe downpour and uh, because because you're not sitting anywhere and uh, you're constantly on the go there's very little water that can actually you know uh, be absorbed by this material this material kind of repels most of the water so um, yeah that's that some three four different materials used uh, to put things together very high quality trims ykk and uh, ykk zippers and very good runners mm, overall nice hand feel nice strap nice shoulder strap nice uh, uh, use of materials and and aesthetically too everything has been designed in a way where uh, the, uh, you know it, it, there's nothing like a an ugly part to this tank bag that's the most beautiful thing about the tank bag uh, grab handle to carry the bag like that pretty easy so um, makes it just super easy to take it off the tank and put it on the tank and uh, just simply in love with the capacity this is my travel motorcycle hence i needed a decent sized tank bag and uh, nothing more uh, uh, than uh, a seven liter five to ten liter capacity and that's exactly what i got and this is going to stay on the bike for as long as it uh, lasts i like it that much so that was my initial impressions if this helped it helped um i'll soon catch up with you guys on another one i'm out on a trip and we'll see how far we can push this and uh, Yep, that's that. Ben signing on for now. Ciao.